एक्स्ट्रा टाइम Hit the subscribe option and the bell icon to get all the exclusive sports videos on extra time. Well, you you captain Ravi Bishnoi in Punjab, and obviously, I mean, you see him played with uh, Marcus Stoinis. Your thoughts on the retentions? And I know you can't give too much away. Your uh, whatever you can give me on the auction strategy. How do you approach a mega auction like this? Nothing like this has happened before for years. Yeah, yeah, not for me as well because this is the first time I'm part of. the big auction i was i was with punjab as captain but we went into only smaller auctions and there were only two or three places that we needed to fix which was uh, which wasn't really that hard but this is this is a lot harder um the idea behind stonis and and bishnoi i think is very simple when you're trying to um get three retentions you want to get like three pillars sorted you have an opening batter in me you have an all rounder um, in stoinis who can bat number 5 number 6 so we've seen that in big bash he's even opened as well so he's a very flexible player he gives you a sixth bowling option as well um and ravi bishnoi like gauti bai said is very exciting is young um he's a wicket taking option and um, we've seen in the history of ipl that his spinners have done really really well and his spinners in this auction again whoever is available will be hot so um we felt like you know uh, getting these getting all of us would would um give us a good start as a team and then we can build around it um yes marcus have played with in 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 punjab as well and he's a very committed player and um, um he has a great energy around the team is a brilliant team man so um one of the best all rounders going around right now in limited overs cricket so um I really wanted um, Marcus to be part of the setup, and Bishnoi played with him, and um, he has he has he has a big heart for a for a youngster who hasn't um, uh, played for the country or hasn't played too much um, um, IPL cricket. He he showed a lot of heart. He wasn't scared to be in a fight. He wasn't overawed by um, the international batters. He used to bowl to. He wanted to be in the fight. He wanted to bowl to the likes of Pollard and Russell and. Hardik Rishabh Pant. Whenever they came in, he said, um, "You know, Bhaiya, mujhe bol do. I w- I want to get their wicket." So that's the kind of attitude uh, you you like in a player. And uh, he's, he's a young guy, and and I know I can see him playing for the country for a for a long time, and also playing playing for India really soon. So that will um, it'll be good for us to. be part of that journey for him and support him as much as we can you picked rashid you picked shubman uh, a word on them i i've seen your video which you put out uh, welcoming the two of them into your amdabad family but a word on rashid and a word on shubman oh they've been tremendous to be honest i can't ask uh, better retention ship uh, uh, players than them uh, rashid out and out match winner no one can debate that shubman a brilliant young talent was very strong at the age at his age at his age he's very strong minded and uh, he, which he can offer a lot to a, a lot to us in coming future as well so for them for me genuinely i'm very very happy with those two guys because as i said match winners at any given day and uh, a tremendous team players as well so for me uh, i love someone who plays for the team and who who always keeps the team ahead because i have been always that kind of a cricketer uh and when i get those those kind of uh, qualities and uh, you know roles when i give them roles and they when i know that they are such amazing team players i um, mean it's kind of uh, amazing clearly you are in that enviable position mayank among a cream of maybe 40 cricketers who does not have to worry about the auction but obviously you have a different role you have a leadership role advising your franchise how are you looking at the auction i mean i for example i'm excited i mean when i go back to 2008 a mega auction of this sort it's a different ball game i mean three days of spectacle almost this auction how are you looking at it being a key member of your franchise <laughs> very honestly i think this uh, this auction i'm just going to sit back and say oh yes <laughs> i'm i'm going to be a lot more relaxed than probably yeah. few few other people uh, but you know i'm i am really excited for the auction you know uh for 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 the kind of players that we that we will be able to buy and you know the strategies and 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 the thought processes that we have had as punjab kings before the auction you know have we been able to get the players that we're looking for you know what we you know we've kind of decided the 
of say we've decided a kind of cricket we want to play have we actually been able to get the kind of players that we've been uh, you know as as a team that we've been looking for so so it 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 is exciting on on that front but you know i i can definitely say on a personal front yes it's it's going to be a lot more calmer compared to any of the uh, any of the auctions before the countdown has begun for the auction your thoughts yeah i think uh, thanks a lot for inviting me first of all uh, and uh, i think auctions is definitely something uh, familiar with all of us but to be very honest being the captain of the side i have got into it a bit uh, more than normal so getting uh, getting to know about auctions is very exciting and very surprising and uh, definitely i think uh, a uh, great uh, salute to all our supporting staff and coaches i think we have been working very hard lots and lots of meetings i am very used to this uh, having google meet from last two months i think we are definitely putting in a lot of hard work and lot of plannings but uh, to be very honest i think the options are very unpredictable as you know so we all are definitely trying to uh, uh, simulate lot of different scenarios and be ready for whatever auction brings up with yeah very nice answer i mean you are absolutely right in saying uh, you know the unpredictability of the auction and i don't want you to divulge uh, details having said that when you approach an auction like this sanju uh, what is the kind of mindset do you guys go for skill sets do you go for particular kind of formulas or or you you prepare for situations and then you are prepared to innovate come the auction table how are you getting ready because none of us have seen you know a mega auction like this for several years i have covered ipl from year 1 i haven't seen it either so your thoughts on that yeah definitely i think the skill sets of players are really important to be very honest i think uh, the trend is keeps on changing and a lot of different trends are coming in ipl like a left arm fast bowler or leg spinner and uh, all those things are coming up and all those things are definitely in our mind but to be very honest i think we are definitely looking at some really strong characters i think no matter what uh, skill sets you have if you have a very brave heart and a really fearless character to play this format it definitely gives you a lot of success to be very honest it's a balance of both uh, but uh, i think definitely i rely a lot on the character of a person a character of a player so i think it's both i think yeah can i want to ask this uh, question because for my own self also i mean you are a, you are a leader of the new zealand team you have been a captain of a franchise team as well. what is the difference when you captain an ipl team and you captain a new zealand uh, side Uh, there can't be one simple mantra of leadership what is the difference and how do you approach it yeah um it, it's definitely different I, i think every team that you are in is is different um you know and there's a number of aspects that that fall into that and you know there can be a variety of cultures and a variety of um you know different ideas um and you know i suppose you want to make sure you're you're able to listen um yeah you know, i know having captained um a little bit in in the IPL and and trying to understand you know how it might look and um you know with with players that you haven't worked as much with before and you know want to understand perhaps how they're feeling about things and and where their heads are at and and you know what are some of the things we can do within this group to try and you know come together a little bit and and have a, a common goal and i suppose that's you know i think something that's important in any team sport um and in and any team but how you get to those stages there's there's always different routes um and trying to be nice and clear on 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 what that looks like so whether that's a an a team in the IPL or a team you know in a, in our new zealand league or or whatever else you know it's it's basically i think listening is 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 quite important there's a lot of good people often um always involved you know so you want to you want your players to have a voice you want players to to feel like they're driving something and and a part of something and so yeah i mean they're always really interesting challenges um and you know it's certainly enjoyed uh having those different experiences and and different sides This is extra time. Extra time.